Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be sharing with all of you a really cool app for the iPhone um, which comes really in handy if you're going to be traveling to a foreign country, especially if it's a foreign country where you either don't speak the language or you don't speak the language well. I myself took two years of Spanish in high school, got to college where they said, no, 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 you need two and a half years to go on, so they made me take the first two years again for some strange reason, and I still managed to get C's both times. Anyways, getting back to the subject matter. Word Lens is the name of the app. You'll see it here at the bottom of my screen. It's a little complicated the way the app works pricing-wise. The app itself is free, but to really use it, you need to buy something called a language pack, which is $4.99. One little disclaimer I do want to give. I know a lot of our viewers for these classes, for our videos, are not necessarily located within the United States. We are in the U.S., so... The pricing structure and the options that you see are based on the fact that we are in the U.S. If you live in a different country, I'm going to guess that probably the language options as well as the pricing structure is going to be a little bit different. So let me show you that. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to go here into this little globe icon. That's where you're going to find your various language packs. Here you can see to demonstrate today's uh, class, I have purchased the Spanish to English language pack. If I scroll down, here are the other options. Again, I am guessing that these are going to be different based on where you live in the world. So I can translate Russian, Portuguese, Italian, French, or German into English. This really only works well on big text. It doesn't work on something like a book. So if you're in a restaurant, excellent. If you need to translate a sign, perfect. But for something like a book, it's not really going to fly very well. So let's hit done. Now before I actually show you how this works, I'm actually going to flip to a different screen here real quick. So laying on my desk next to my iPhone, I have this piece of paper. It's just an image I pulled off of Google Images. Okay, clearly some sort of a warning sign, but as you can see here, it is in Spanish. And since I went to public school, I clearly don't know Spanish, so I need to translate it. Going back to the iPhone here, let's go in and use the app. So it's going to immediately launch the camera on your phone. So if I lift this up, you'll see there's my desk. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right on the sign that you just saw, and you're going to see what happens. So it's translating it. Now that top line that you see right there, it's being thrown off a little bit based on that symbol. I found that if I actually cut off, if I try to get just that word in, Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, but um, the majority of the text there, you can see it says a risk of explosion, no touchy. So that is the app. A couple other really minor features you'll see here. Uh, there's a little lightning bolt icon down here. I'm just going to cover the lens so we can focus. Uh, that will turn on your flash. Okay, so if it's dark out, you can light up everything. We have a magnifying glass to zoom in on whatever text you have. If you use this button here, it's just going to simply lock the rotation. So if you end up moving your phone, uh, it's not going to rotate with it. Um, and then you can have like little bits of information down here and a basic language dictionary right here. So if, if, for example, that first line, it did not translate, I can type that in right here. I could type in the word P-E-L-I-G-R-O, and I can see it says danger. And that's the app. I think it's a really handy app. If you're going away on a trip, this is awesome. One other really, really important thing to note about this app is that, thankfully, it does not use the internet when you're using the actual app. And the reason why that's so important is that when you're out of your home country, you are paying these astronomical data fees if you actually turn data on. With this app, you can be offline and still do everything that I have just showed you how to do. So check it out. It's called Word Lens. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you enjoyed this video and you happen to be watching this on YouTube, of course, we really do appreciate it. If you click that little thumbs up like button at the bottom, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube and hopefully visit our website. We are a completely free organization. You'll find out everything at PCClassesOnline.com. This is David A. Cox. You all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.